Greetings and welcome to a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Now I'm gonna do a follow-up of a tutorial that I did last year, uh, which was how to create a movable player character from scratch. Um, and I've gotten a few questions uh, from people wondering how you could add a mesh to this character. Um, so I'm just gonna continue directly from the point where that tutorial ended. If you want to see that tutorial first, then click this and then come back here afterwards. Okay, so what we did in that tutorial was simply create a player that could move like this and jump. But, as you can see, there's no mesh. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is just make this playing field a little bit bigger. Like that. And build it. And I'm gonna, inside contents, I'm gonna create a new folder. Named Skeletal. Meshes. Because we will need a skeletal mesh or any mesh uh, as a player mesh. And as usual, in my tutorials, I'm gonna use my own mesh. The ugly robotic killer drone duckling <laughs> mesh, which you can find download for free on unrealtutorials.com if you want to. If you don't have your own mesh. Then you will get this, so I'm just going to drag the FBX file into the engine. Import a skeletal and import all. It's an ugly mesh, but I love it. <laughs> okay. So now we can go back into blueprints and open the my player character which you created in the last tutorial. So here in the viewport we're going to add first um oh what's that called something with spring arm yeah because we're going to create a camera that um, follows the player so we watch the player character from behind or from above or whatever you want and we're gonna put the camera uh, on the spring arm and we're gonna call this a camera boom and then with the camera boom we're gonna add a new component which is gonna be a camera like that, and we're just gonna call it camera, easy as that. I'm gonna drag this back until it is placed pretty much here. Now, when we let's see, oh, I need to put this camera component onto the camera boom, then when I Then when I move the camera boom, you can see I move the camera as well. Next, I click the mesh, and then in the details panel, you see the skeletal mesh here. Find your chosen skeletal mesh, which is my killer drone, and it's tiny, so I'm gonna scale it up 30 by 30 by 30, like this. Uh, select the camera boom and I want it to watch kinda from above a little bit from above maybe like that I don't know why it's lagging now but hopefully it's not too bad So let's just take a little look to see if it's correct. 
here it is but you might notice you cannot go back and forth back yeah whatever you can only go from left to right and move the mouse but you cannot look up and down either I don't really know why but I know how to fix it so what you do is with the camera boom selected uh, you find use pawn control rotation and you check that then it will follow the pawns con uh, rotation instead of its own so now if we go back Jesus it dark in here it's so dark well it doesn't matter it doesn't matter as you can see now I can look up and down and I can move forward and backward so you know this is it that's how easy it is this is how you add your own mesh so if you want a different view then you know you just take the camera closer and there you have your own third person player character so let's say you wanted this to be a gun now <laughs> then you could take this and you could put it like this maybe <laughs> now this is a gun mesh suddenly this is probably a not not a very good practice praxis but it might it might kind of work <laughs> But then you would have to, you know, fix the camera a little bit and but you get you get the point. Just place the gun close enough and then make sure you shoot from the right angle, but I'm not gonna talk about that now. So, but there you have it. Um let me know if there's anything else and subscribe and like if you wanna and have a nice day. Peace out.